You may know a breast cancer journey doesn't end after treatment or once you're in remission. I mean, survivors tell us emotional and physical changes can stay with them for the rest of their lives. Yeah, so as we near the end of Breast Cancer Awareness Month this October, our three news style contributor, Hallie Abrams, partnered with Legacy Village to give one inspiring survivor a day of shopping, self-care, and pampering designed to help her move forward, feeling her very best. That day was awful. Um, you just think that your life is ending, honestly. Two years ago this month, Jenna Nightingale learned she had breast cancer. Got the call back that I had non-invasive DCIS, which is ductal carcinoma. I also had invasive ductal carcinoma, so it had traveled already. Faced with many unknowns, the mom of three opted for a double mastectomy. The decision that I made, gut feeling, I think saved my life. After surgery, chemo, and ongoing ovarian suppression shots, Jenna is now thankfully cancer-free, but says the journey doesn't end there. It's not something that you get over, your body gets over, you are changed. Her purpose has changed too. She now speaks out for others who might find themselves in a similar place. You are in control of your own health and it's your responsibility to be your own advocate. She continues to work with organizations like The Gathering Place, which nominated Jenna to spend a special day focused on making her feel good. We are there to support people through the hard times, and it's also important to realize that the, the celebrations. It was really eye-opening for me to hear about some of the changes that have happened for you with survivorship and how that's affected getting dressed. I can tell you that, you know, going through all the treatments wreaks havoc on your body. So the body that I had, the clothes that I once wore, do not fit anymore. We are so excited to get started. First up, a visit to Ladies and Gentlemen Salon and Spa for a soothing pedicure and manicure from nail technician Raquel Hives with a fitting nod to breast cancer awareness. I picked the high Barbie color, hot pink. Next up, a shopping and styling session with me. I would love as if there's anything that really is like twinkling and calling to you. I want you to point it out and there's some things I'm gonna gather. Okay. And we're gonna get you some head to toe outfits. Our goal, addressing some of the specific clothing needs that can come after breast cancer. Feel them, please feel them. <laughs> oh, I love those. Right? Yes. And look at the nice yeah. wide waistband. Yeah, so they're those comfy. Will be so comfy. But then when you put it on with this and you throw the little necklace on, yeah. you're like put Perfect. together. After some shopping success, it was time for a little more glam with help from advanced stylist Megan Rossbottom. And then it was time for Jenna to see it all come together. Jenna, I'm so happy your husband Ryan was able to meet us. This was such a fun day. Oh, I had a great time. So thank you to all of the <laughs> retailers that participated today. We're even sending you home with some goodies for your kids. But most importantly, thank you for sharing your story and for raising awareness. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed today. It's great to see a smile on her face going through something as traumatic as, as cancer. Um, yeah, it's Yeah, it's good, very good. I just feel, you know, so pretty for one and fashionable and I got to relax and unwind a little bit and it was a fabulous day. And she has one final message to share with anyone watching. And if you think something's wrong or you have a gut feeling about something, call your doctor. And if that doctor doesn't listen, call a different doctor. Get your mammograms because it saved my life. Oh, oh my amen to that. I was tearing I up know. watching him. Yeah. You, you, you know, we have to remember, yes, how this affects her, but how it affects her whole family. And yeah. you could see it in him. Yeah, wow. absolutely. You know, and I'm glad that she had this moment to be pampered because, you know, as a mom, I mean, you're worried about the kids. You're wor worried about everybody else except yourself. And True. so, you know, I'm glad that, you know, she made herself a priority. Absolutely. And with an important message to get your mammograms. Absolutely. And moms don't always get that chance. So Jenna, we're glad that you're healthy. We hope that continues obviously for you and your family. Thanks for sharing.